Hi, I'm Sean Gannett, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about systems of two equations, and we're going to solve each system by elimination. So, if I was given this system of equations, negative 5 sevenths minus 11 sevenths x equals negative y. And the second equation is 2y equals 7 plus 5x. Okay. Well, I'm going to do this in a few parts here. First thing is, I, I personally don't like to have fractions with these, so I'm going to take the top equation and just multiply it all by 7. And in doing so, what that, what that causes, I'm going to multiply all that by 7, it will eliminate um, the denominator, or the idea of a fraction here. So 7 cancel out with 7, so we have a negative 5, and then minus 11x, 7 will cancel out with the denominator 7, so 11x which makes it nice, and then 7 times a negative y is a negative 7y. I'm just going to bring across the, uh, well, the bottom one, I'm going to bring across the yeah, 2y equals 7 plus 5x. So now what I want to do is I'm going to rearrange this to have all my numbers on the right-hand side and my letters, let's say, on the left-hand side, so uh, my variable. So let's go rewrite that. I'm going to say, <coughs> add a 7y to both sides and subtract or add a 5 to both sides. So I have 7y here minus 11x equals, I'm going to add a 5 to both sides, positive 5. Okay. The second equation, the 2y just stays down here, but what I'm going to do is just add, uh, subtract a 5x to both sides with minus 5x right there. And that's just equal to my 7. So now I want to try to eliminate one of my variables. And to do that, well, I see the 7y and the 2y. If I multiply both of these um, by a number, I can get something that eliminates. So the top equation, if I multiply that by 2, right, and let's go, yeah, 2. Let's go with 2 there. And this one, the bottom one, by negative 7. 2 times 7 is 14, and negative 7 times 2 is a negative 14. That should eliminate the y variables. So, and in doing that, I'm going to rewrite that down here. <laughs> so it's a uh, we arrow down because I think I'm going to get out of space there on the side here. So we have a 14y, 2 times 7y is 14, minus uh, 2 times 11, it's uh, 22x, equals 2 times 5, which is 10. And I chose the second one to be negative because I wanted one to be positive, one to be negative, so when I add them together, they get eliminated. Negative 7 times 2y is a negative 14y, and negative 7 times a negative 5x is a positive 35x. Negative 7 times a positive 7 is a negative 49. So when I add these two together, okay, the y's will eliminate, okay, they will eliminate, and I'm sorry, the camera's shaking at this moment, my lovely cat is rubbing its uh, head against the tripod there. Anyway, negative uh, 14y minus 14y is a 0, right there, and then we have a negative 22x plus 35x to come out to be, oh, off the top of my head, that's a 13. So a positive 13 right here, x equals, and then we have a 10 minus, or minus 49, really, plus a negative 49, is a negative 39. Okay. Well, we divide both sides by 13 to get x by itself, and x equals, well, negative 39 divided by 13 is a negative 3. So we have x equal to a negative 3 here, we need to find the y. So let's go grab our second equation, that looks like the easier one, because Although fractions are great and all, I prefer not to deal with them if I don't have to. 2y equals 7 plus 5 times x. I'm going to bring this x equals 3, a negative 3, and plug it in for that x there. 2y equals 7 plus 5 times a negative 3. And 2y equals 7 plus 5 times a negative 3 is a negative 15. Okay. Well, <clears throat> what we're going to do now here, keep going, keep going. Um, 7 plus a negative 15, okay, 7 plus a negative 15 there, is a, um, top of my head, top of my head, top of my head, that's going to be an 8, negative 8, so we have 2y equals a negative 8. I'm going to divide by 2 to both sides, which leaves me with y by itself equals to negative 8 divided by 2 is a negative 4. So we have y to be negative 4, x to be negative 3, we can combine that together to have a coordinate point of negative 3, comma, negative 4. And there we have our final answer. So let's recap. We're given our two equations, negative 5 sevenths minus 11 sevenths x 
equals a negative 8y, and 2y equals 7 plus 5x. First thing I did is multiply the top equation by 7 to eliminate the fraction across the board. <coughs> and so what I did there, after that I rearranged to have my variables first, then my number. Then from there I wanted to eliminate the y, so multiply the top equation by 2, bottom by negative 7, which brought me down here to have a 14y minus 22x equals 10, and negative 14y plus 35x equals negative 49. I added the two equations together, and that eliminate the y variable gave me 13x equals a negative 39, divided by 13, and I got x equals a negative 3. From there, okay, I plugged that negative 3 back into my second equation because I thought it was easier and simplifying. And in doing so, I got y to be negative 4, or solve for y to be negative 4. I have my x and my y value. I can combine them together to make one coordinate point. Um, and that's the, our answer here. It's a solution to the system of equations using elimination, which is negative 3, negative 4.